We'll start with Steve McGee, News 9. Hey, Mark, uh, the Nets finished with 19 threes. They had 70 points in the paint. Just how tough were they to defend tonight? Yeah, I mean, they were good. You know, I thought, um, you know, we could have obviously been sharper, especially in the first half uh, when they got their rhythm. But I give them a lot of credit. You know, we, we put two on the ball with Harden and Irving, and they moved it, and they made extra passes. Uh, they played with a lot of chemistry, and they made us pay uh, on a lot of plays. And so – uh, you know, give them credit. They played really well offensively. Obviously, we didn't throw our best pitch defensively. Got to learn from it, um, you know, against a team like that and move forward. Harris Lawson, OKCThunder.com. Yeah, Coach, on the other side of the ball, it looked like you guys were able to generate some really high-quality looks getting inside out. Did you like the way or the shots that you guys were able to get throughout the game? Yeah. You know, I thought offensively we were pretty good, pretty sharp. I thought we played really well-intentioned, uh, generated some good shots. We got to the line. I thought we had a little bit of a balance there. Um, and, you know, came out of halftime and, and really had some good possessions offensively and just couldn't get enough stops to, to climb back into the game um, out of the half. So, you know, it wasn't an offensive thing, and I was pleased with how we played there. Nick Gallo, Thunder Broadcasting. Yeah, as a, a follow-up to the offense, Mark, you know, they, they started the game dropping Jordan back. Al hits the threes. They, they start to pull up and, and pressure Shea more. Uh, and, and then you hit them on some backdoor cuts. And as you mentioned, the variety. What did you think of the way your team sort of just adapted throughout the game uh, offensively? Yeah, it's the benefit of all these games. You know, you see different coverages. And eventually, you know, teams run out of coverages to throw at you. And you've started to see them before. And you develop – uh, catalog and um, you learn how to adapt the system to the way that you're being guarded and that's you know when I come in here and talk about learning from every game that's one of the things we're learning is um, you know here's how we got played last night here's how we think we'll get played you know on Monday uh, and here are the lessons that we can carry forward and we just kind of keep building and building there so I thought our guys did a really good job there and, and uh, that was a bright spot in the game. Joe Masato, the Oklahoman. Yeah, Mark, Shea said, I think it was after the last game, that Teo has been timid at times offensively. I don't know if tonight was sort of a byproduct of, of getting him out of that, but just what, what did you make of his offensive performance? Yeah, it's a, I think it's a little bit of that, you know, where I wouldn't say he's timid. He's a pretty confident player, but, um, you know, he's very stable. He's very solid. He's used to playing at a certain pace, and, and we're really encouraging him to be more aggressive and play with more pop. Uh, and I think he's done that, you know, even before tonight. I didn't think tonight was the first time. I thought tonight with the threes was a byproduct of being off the ball a little bit with Shea, which is why we're starting him. You know, we want to take a look at that and see what uh, he can bring to the table there. And, you know, he was the recipient of a lot of, um, you know, ball movement plays that he would normally be initiating when he's in the second unit on the ball. And so uh, he obviously can, can bring both to the table, and he, he delivered well tonight for us. Daniel Bell, Black Sports Online. Hey, Coach, you had 66.10 in the paint last time you played them and only 38 tonight. And I know it was a little different team uh, last time, but were they doing something specific tonight to keep you guys out of the paint? Uh, they trapped Shea. Um, that was a factor. I also think the free throw line, you know, we shot a ton of free throws, and a lot of those are paint created. So I think, you know, 38 – is a little deceptive just because of the amount that we get to the line. You know, those are basically, most of those are paint created. I think Dork had filed on a three, but the rest of them are in there. So I thought we had a nice balance tonight. You know, we attacked on offense. We played with good pace. The ball moved. I thought guys played on selfishly. You know, like I said, you know, defensively, that was the issue tonight. They were cooking offensively, and we didn't have the fastball we needed to, to stand in there on that end.